firstly I'd just like to apologise um, to the people who were watching the, um, the paint along with the quirky bird via the live Facebook feed. Um, unfortunately it did drop off um, and I've just discovered that the second part of the video um, did not record um, correctly. Um, so I just thought I would pop back on here um, and just do a quick um, sort of paint along um, and just to re do the video um, from the uh, the painting that we did this morning. I have loved seeing all of your work and I am absolutely delighted that each and every one of you has been able to produce something that uh, that you are actually you know you're very very proud of. So this was the um, the design that uh, we've been working on. Um, so I'm going to just very very quickly. Um, just do another another quick um, paint along um, just so you can catch up and go through um, the final ink details um, of which you missed when we were on um, the uh, live feed earlier on today so uh, let's uh, let's get to it okay so first of all what um, I'm going to do is just just very lightly just draw in the um, table and also the vase that we're going to be having our lovely flowers in. And then I'm just going to put in just a bit of a, a blobby type shape. And that's where the, um, the flower details are going to sit. So this is the basic shape so you're going to be putting in your table you're then going to be adding the detail of your vase and then going over it again with a bit of a blobby type cloud shape and that's the bit that we're going to be working in to fill in the flower details so what i need you to do next is we're going to just be putting in this color wash just at the back of the painting so we're just going to be doing this light color wash Bear with me just one second. Sorry about that, the computer is making funny noises by the side of me. Okay, so I'm just going to use a nice soft brush and I'm going to be using just a very, very pale um, pale pink that's just in my palette here at the moment. Now I need this to be nice and watery so it's nice and light. Just dab off the excess and then in just straight long strokes I just want you to just fill the background of that picture. It's better that you um, don't go over your line where you've actually got your table set um, because that's just going to have a nice sort of detail in the final painting when it's finished. So just nice strokes just putting in the watercolour. Dab that across the top. And just put a little bit more in just down this one side like that. There we go. Now as you can see I've just got a little bit there that's um, a little bit more dense than I would like it. So all you need to do is just dry your brush off and then with a thirstier brush just literally just take it down there and that will take up any of the excess paint that you, uh, you don't like. And that's all I needed you to do with regards to the background. So you can see that we've highlighted the shape and we've just gone into the background using the lovely pale pink colour wash. So, just pop that down there. So in typical Blue Peter style, here is one that I have um, prepared earlier. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to work in these flower details here in the main part of the painting. And it is very, very simple. 
If you saw my video the other day, you would have seen that I did a practice piece and I just did some very, very simple abstract flowers. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing now. So I'm going to start by doing some of the lavender and I'm just going to put a little bit of purple on my brush. Now it's always better just to take just the excess paint off and then for your lavender you're literally doing a little squiggle. So again putting the paint on the brush just taking the excess off and just do another little squiggle. Excess off. I'm just going to do five little lavenders. One more, just to the side a little bit, I think. Okay. So that's all I need to do with regards to your lavenders, is you just need to do the little squiggle using the purple paint. Okay. So from our lavenders, we shall then go on and do some poppies. Now the poppies, again, red paint on your brush, take off the excess and you're literally doing a bit of a squiggle like that. And you want to leave a space in the centre, so you've got that centre just open, so you're just doing a little circular squiggle. So I'll put another couple down this side I think. Just take the excess off, there we go, and we'll just do another one over this side, okay, just fill in the, the middle just slightly. So that's all you're doing for your poppies is you're just putting in um, a little sort of rough squiggly ring with a hole in the centre. So from our poppies, we are now going to put in some lilies. And the lilies are very, very simple. So I'm gonna just pick up a little bit of yellow on my brush. And in order to do your lilies, you're just gonna create just a little V shape and then have a little bit in the middle and just infill it. Take off the excess and then it's a little V and a bit in the middle. And a little V and a bit in the middle. So we'll just do a couple more. Take up some of that excess paint that's just on there. That's fine. So we've just got a little selection of lilies just right at the top of our painting. Now we're going to add in some roses and for my roses I'm going to use just a little bit of pink. So loading up the brush. And for the roses, all you're going to do is just a blob. So again, take the excess off the brush and just put in, just change that colour. It's a little bit too light. Let's put a bit more. That's it. So you're just going to be putting just a blob. So like you did your poppies, but then you're just going to fill in. 
we'll go for five. Now I'm choosing to group these flowers all together, but it's up to you how you decide to do it in your design. You could just scatter them all through quite randomly, but I quite like to see them in, in the little groups. So we've got our roses in, so I'll just show you those. So we've just put the roses in. So we've got the poppies, the lavender, the lilies and the roses. And then we're just going to put some more little abstract flowers in just towards the bottom of the design. And all I want you to do on this one is we're going to use the orange. So again, load the brush, take the excess off. And you're just doing five little blobs that resemble the petals. That's all I need you to do. So we'll just do another five little blobs. When I was doing the Zoom earlier this morning, I did say that my, lang my use of language is very, very sophisticated while I'm doing this. I refer to blobs and squiggles and polos and all sorts of random things. So, so I've just put in my little flowers just at the bottom there. Now I'm going to add in some leaves at this point just to give some structure and some definition to the painting. So again, just taking my paint palettes and loading some green, take the excess off. And then all you need to do is just a little tear drop shape to um, resemble your, your leaves. Nothing too complicated, um, so I'll just put another one just up here. So you just need to just go round your painting, just infilling where you feel that it's needed, um, just the leaves. That's gone a little bit watery, so let me just take that one back. leaves in wherever you feel that you've got a bit of a gap. Now when you're doing a painting like this it is in the um, quite a loose quite an abstract style so don't get hung up on um, you know realism don't get hung up on scale um, it's it's quite an interpretive piece so just just enjoy it really, just free your mind and, and have a go. I do find it so, so relaxing, I have to say. And then what you can also do um, with your um, green is I'm just going to change my brush. So I use a little um, flat, broader type brush. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to get some paint. And I'm just going to give the impression of some stems so just some little lines that just give a bit of a nod um, to um, the, the stems don't worry about putting stems on every single flower head because you don't need to do that it's just um, a bit of a, like I say, just a, a bit of a gesture really, and a suggestion. So I'm just now gonna take a little bit of pink and just put in the center detail of those little five petal flowers. 
and that's it. That's basically where we would have gotten to um, before the live um, feed dropped off. So I've got one that I've um, done earlier. So let me just go and grab that. So here is one that I've I've done earlier. So we're going to carry on um, with the um, part of the Zoom um, and the video that uh, that unfortunately didn't record. So um, let's uh, let's get stuck in. Okay. So the next thing I need you to do is we're just going to put in a couple of little flowers just here. So I'm going to just outline the shape. Let's just put a little poppy in there. And let me put a little bit of lavender. Um, put in some leaves. So I just need you to just draw in a couple of simple flower shapes just at the, the bottom of your vase. And then what you need to do is just then colour those in with your, your watercolour paints. So we'll, first of all, we'll take a little bit of red on the brush. And we'll just fill that in for the poppy. And then we'll also take on some purple and just do another little stem of lavender. Now I'm going to go straight in with some of the green, being careful not to get too close to the wet paint that we've just applied. So I can just put in the stem details and the leaves. Oops, there we go. So that's the flower details just then put in just there. Um, just showing you a couple of little stems. Now the next thing that we need to do is I just need to put in some definition for the vase. So I'm just gonna put in a very, very light color wash. Now you can do this in a couple of different colors. A gray works, um, purple also works. So this is the one that we were working on today and I've used a little bit of purple and also gray um, for the wash of the vase. So we'll do that now. Apologies if you feel that I am rattling through this a little bit quickly. Um, I probably am. Um, it's to rectify, obviously, a mistake with regards to the live feed dropping off for Facebook users. But at least doing it in this sort of format, you can, when you're watching this and you're carrying out the, the tutorial and having a go yourself, you are then in a position to just keep pausing um, the, the, the video. So, so that'll be fine. So let's just put in a little bit of the wash. So I'm just going to start with a little bit of purple. Working in your sort of nice, long, relaxed strokes. Keeping it nice and watery so it's nice and sheer. We just need to put in just a hint of a reflection on the, uh, on the vase and a bit of definition really. Now I've put a little bit of purple in there and I'm just going to add a little bit of grey to that as well. So again, just keeping it nice and light. And there we have the, the vase detail put in there. Okay. Now, the bit that you then missed when um, the recording failed was um, was putting in the um, pen details. Now I've just got a very, very simple, just a, a normal handwriter gel pen, and I find that these work really, really well. So I'm gonna start with my lavender, and I'm just going to just pop in the outline of the, of the flower. Now the idea is when you're doing the um, the pen detail over the top, don't be too precious about it. Don't overthink about the shape and form of the flowers. Just remember that you're working in the abstract design um, and that you're only suggesting 
um, that it is a, a, a piece of lavender. And because you're working in an abstract way, your mind makes up for the missing gaps. So um, you do not need to worry at all. So I've just gone round the outside of my lavender and I've also started to work to put in a little bit of detail on my leaves. So I've done my lavender, so I'm gonna now do my poppies. And to do the poppies, it's nice to just to break the poppies down into sort of three petals really. And then obviously your nice black center. So again, we'll just go round the outside of the poppy and put in the center. So I've just put in my details of my of my poppies. Now, if you wanted to, you can also use a finer pen just to add in some little details on the poppies so it's not so broadly inked. I'll just work on some of these leaves down here. I'm just doing the teardrop shape of the leaf and then just adding in just a couple of little um, details to suggest the vines. So it's just like that with regards to the, the detailing on the leaves. And you continue to work that way throughout your design. Like I say, don't overthink about it. Look at what the um, the different shape of flowers are suggesting to you. Um, and just literally just fill in the gaps. This is the bit that I really do find quite relaxing. You just sort of wander off, really. It's often quite nice to just introduce a, a little bit of movement so you can just add some little stamens to the flowers. I do find it easier to work on a board because the board you can just you can move it around. Um, so I often sometimes work even upside down, but it's so much easier to do it on a a light wooden board. Or you could use a clipboard or a, a little bit of cardboard that also works just as well. some little pink flowers that I just need to add in. Okay, so I've had it in all my details. The only thing I haven't done are these two blobs here and I'm going to change those into roses. So in order to do that, you just need to just go round sort of almost three quarters of the shape of the blob. And then from there, yes, put in the jagged top, but then also just then go straight into a spiral. And that gives you a little bit of definition of a rose. So again, just going sort of around three quarters of the of the pink blob across the top and then straight into a spiral.
and then I'm just going to just go round the circles of the petals of the flowers at the bottom. Get a little bit of a shading in the centre. And that's it. The flowers, have, as you can see, have pretty much um, come to life. I've just got a leaf there that isn't filled in. So let's do that. Okay. So that's pretty much it. How that's how the bouquet and the flowers um, come to life. Really, quite simply, in an abstract way, using the um, the pen. What we need to do now is just add in some detail here and a little bit of definition to the vase. So all you need to do is just come down with a line either side of the, the vase and again across the bottom. Now it doesn't matter if this is a broken line, it doesn't matter if it's a bit sketchy, it, it's absolutely fine. Um, and then I'm just going to add in just a little bit of detail um, along half of the, the vase just to give that um, little extra definition. Now we're nearly finished. All I need to do to finish the painting off is to just put in some um, definition here with regards to the table that the vase of flowers is sat on. And I also just then need to um, fill in the detail of those flowers. So we'll just do that now. Now I didn't want, um, I don't want a solid line with regards to the table. So just a nice little doodle type scribble um, works incredibly well for that and then I'll just go round and put in the details of my little flower down here and again around the outside of my lavender and some leaves and there we have it the finished design of the vase of flowers. Now all I need to do now is just sign it. So I'm going to just sign it and I usually date it. It's always nice to sort of date your work just to see um, how much you've improved, how far you've come. And now what we all need to do now is just very, very carefully remove the masking tape from the paper. Now it can tear so you just need to be very, very careful and lightly just remove that masking tape from, from your design. So I'm just going to take the tape away. And again, just down this side, just being very, very careful that it just comes away in one piece. And across the bottom and then I just need to remove the tape that was securing the paper to the board to stop it from warping and getting sort of wet and soggy design. Now from the ladies that took part this morning that were able to stay with me um, via Zoom the end results have been absolutely fantastic and some people have already posted to um, my page um, Quirky Bird Watercolours. It's just been lovely lovely to see and uh, and I am absolutely delighted and also very excited to um, to let you all know that I am going to be doing another one of these paint alongs um, very very soon and I will post the details up on um, my my page. I hope you've enjoyed that, I hope you've enjoyed the quick recap. Um, apologies for it dropping off earlier on this morning but the whole 
Zoom and live feed and everything else was a brand new experience for me. I've never done anything like this before, but I have had an absolute ball. I've loved it, loved every single minute of it. So thank you. Thank you for your ongoing support. Do continue to enjoy your painting and, uh, and I shall see you all very, very soon for another Quirky Bird Art Club. Thank you. Bye bye.